landscape change your document properties to a landscape select this circle for a shape pull onto the screen for the size then you need to change the colour I'll have to ignore that, I don't know what happened to my screen capture it does it a few times change the colour to red which is in the bottom of the colour chart it does come back on eventually right, select your red open fill and stroke which is in your object click on fill, fill it red until it says 255 on the slider bar so it's got to be full and then you do it on fill and stroke and then you go back to fill and then you unfill the circle so then it just leaves a red outline and then you go into fill and stroke style and you put in the width which is I normally put 0.2 millimeters which will allow the laser to cut cut that size I've had to record audio after this because it's not recorded because it's rubbish I think I do do it again though obviously you can just move your circle or whatever you put in there it doesn't have to be a circle, it can be anything silhouette black silhouette of google images you can do exactly the same as long as it's red my screen caps is rubbish I think I'll start again here. It's not showing the mouth pointer for some reason, so open a new document, start again. Change it to a landscape. That does disappear now and again. Click that off. Go to your open circle at the left hand side. Eventually. And for some reason it's not like me pressing that button. Draw your red circle, obviously select it red, because red's for your cutting um, for your cutting software, if it's red it'll cut. Go to your fill and stroke, fill it in red and then stroke paint red and make sure that it's fully red up to 255 and then unfill the circle which gives you the outline and then change your width to 0.2 mil save it as whatever file and then you can put it into K40 Whisper software program and it will cut and I don't know what I'm doing here now I know what I'm trying to do ignore this this is reality of real life I don't know what's up with my screen capture, but it keeps doing it. Ignore that anyway. It didn't do what I wanted it to do, so scrap that. In fact, I do, I'll just put scrap that, I think, on it. Yep, scrap that out here. Right, that one is for cutting. As long as you get into the fill and stroke, and you remember to get a thin red line by filling and then unfilling. Right, start again. Document properties, that's buggered off. Landscape, don't know why it don't show my mouse. Go to your circle. Select your blue colour right at the bottom of the screen. It doesn't have to be a circle, it could be anything. Fill and stroke, which is in the object. Click on fill and then unfill, and then it leaves you your blue line. Ooh, it's having a right barney there. This is useless. Hope you get a general idea. And when it's in that blue format, that's 
well, I call it engraving. Is, is it not rastering? Um, I don't know what they call it now. But you know what I mean. You've got red, blue, and black. Black should last it. But that has got to be 100% full maximum blue. Because if it's not, it won't do it, and it'll recognise it as a raster, and it'll it'll just engrave it. Same again, make sure your blue is maximum 255, 255. I think I'll give this up as a bad idea. It's all down to your colours, you've got to make sure your colours are in that order. This is just for your lettering. Yep, and that's basically it. So I should stop it there. What a mess that screen recorder is. <laughs>